Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again with another fragrance review. So glad uh, to have you guys tune in. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe in the bottom. Uh, subscribe, please, and uh, support my channel so I can bring more stuff to you guys. Let me know that you guys are enjoying my channel. Uh, I know I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm a newbie in the community, but I do have, um, I can say, my nose is, uh, I'm pretty good, you know, when it comes to, uh, uh, knowledge in some good fragrances I can give good recommendations I've recommended fragrances to quite a few people and they've been pretty satisfied the feedback they they've gotten from uh, people around them how they feel how I uh, actually uh, was was able just by uh, their character and who they are just you know picking out something that's gonna match their uh, personality so yeah I can I can I can uh, I officially call myself a, a, a frag nerd, if you want to call it that. But I love I love fragrances. Is uh, uh, probably the only hobby I have besides uh, wine. Uh, kind of a bit wine guy. But guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed again, and uh, turn on that bell so you can get the next uh, notice for my next video. And I will be coming up with more. Uh, and keep tuning in. So guys, today I'll be uh, um, visiting the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, uh, the Italian house of Salvatore Ferragamo. And the uh, fragrance we're going to re review in today is uh, the very uh, talked about, very somewhat hyped, not so popular as of now, Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo. It's their latest release, and it was released this year, actually last year, but pretty close to last year, it was 2017. Uh, this was released in 2016, and um, this is uh, really good juice, guys. This is such great juice, and of course, you have Alberto Morales. Uh, Marijas, I'm sorry, which is, you know, an unmistakable nose that has done so much uh, uh, for us fragheads, uh, such great offerings, and you know, who more than to bring something like this that is causing hype, uh, and you know, this is not a fragrance that you're going to find in your retail store, so for somebody to say, uh, to uh, bring up uh, this this uh, this fragrance and say, "Wow, this is great! You got it. You have to get it. This is so good." And you know what? I'm gonna have to agree with that, and I'm gonna get to that uh, in just a second. So, uh, the notes of this fragrance. Uh, I'm gonna get that get that out of the way right now. The notes of the fragrance. Top notes is uh, black pepper, cardamom, bergamot. Middle notes of tiramisu, orange blossom, and abroxin. Base notes, cashmere wood, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Now, uh, there are three available sizes, which is uh, uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, they have a 30 mil, they have a 50 ml, and they have a 100 ml, which is the bottle I have here. So, going through the presentation, this is the bottle, pretty nice bottle. It has a uh, almost like a three-dimensional rubberized uh, design on both sides uh, there is some information on the bottom uh, that I believe is the bash code and company information uh, beautiful cab so you can see this is a pretty cool design uh, there's some uh, uh, information of the company is like a, almost like a goldish uh, kind of plasticky metallic looking uh, material there. The sprayer is pretty nice. I'm going to spray that right now so you guys can see. Pretty nice sprayer. I'm pretty satisfied with that. And um, the cap, by the way, is it's not, this is not, this is the way it comes and just press, press on it. This doesn't, can't remove this, uh, this cap here. Uh, and my thoughts on the smell. The best gourmand I've smelled so far. Period. 
compliment getter 100%. This is, I'm not trying to hype this up and try to get you guys to buy something that, uh, uh, because I'm saying is, is, is the best gourmand, I smell is the best gourmand, I smell. That's my personal opinion. And so far, as of now, this is the best gourmand. And why am I saying that? I, I have a few gourmands. I, I have a, 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 a a lot of gourmands have, have been uh, hyped up and designers, mostly designers. I uh, have some each. Uh, and this is my favorite right now in my collection. This is amazing. One, the main reason why I, I can say this is my favorite and probably the best gourmand to my nose at the moment. One, because it's one of the few gourmands right now. Besides one that I'm going to mention. Actually, two. Which is uh, uh, an amen. Which is uh, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, pure malt. That's a gourmand, but still not as gourmandish. But it is gourmand. There's the whiskey. There's the chocolate. There's the caramel. Gourmand. The next one I, I would say is Fat Delicious by Dior by the Pre Bay line. No, it's good. But it's not better than this, in my opinion. This is a mature, a mature gourmand, which is something that not a lot of designers have came up uh, came up with lately. Most of the gourmands that have been coming out are cater more towards the younger crowd, the clubbing crowd. This is the uh, mm, the um, casual, dressy. Uh, it can be sophisticated, well, uh, you can be well dressed, and this is going to smell good, not childish at all. You, you can consider it playful if you want, and I'm telling you, this is going to garner compliments. I got the compliments, I've tested it, I've only worn it about three times, I had it for about three days, and uh, by the way, this was a tester. I got this through eBay, and um, I, I don't think there's any copies at the moment because it's such a fresh release. I got it through eBay for 50 bucks. So what a great deal for a hundred ml, and um, what a uh, what a surprise from the uh, uh, Salvatore Ferragamo house. Uh, besides one that I love from them, that was uh, the F Black, and not, not I wasn't one hundred percent impressed by that. It's a good fragrance, but this one beats that and anything else that they have come out. Uh, in the past and a lot of stuff that I have right now that I consider great Gourmands. Womo, beautiful, amazing. Anybody that's watching me right now, my my people so far, they have subscribed. You want one of the best Gourmands in my opinions right now to get is uh, Salvatore Ferragamo Womo, hands down. When you smell it, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hit me back and say, "God damn, man, you were right, man." All right. So the notes on this, it's, it's. I know I'm cutting it a little bit long, but what I smell from this is a tiramisu. 100. percent gonna smell tiramisu. The, the prominent notes on this is gonna be a nice tiramisu. There's gonna be some creaminess, some spiciness, a little bit of cinnamon, and it's got like this uh, cappuccino type. Uh, the smell kind of like it has that that bakery cappuccino smell with that with with that tiramisu freshly made tiramisu and the and it has a sweet it's sweet but it's not a sickly sweet uh, but you do have to like sweet scents you you have to have a uh, you have to have love for sweet scents because this is sweet but not sickly sweet like uh, Invictus or one million. This is more a, a, a more of a mature sweetness. This is a sweetness a, like a natural sweetness, not so artificial, not so alcoholically. This is more of a sugar, 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 uh, almost like the sugar uh, that you uh, when you when you dilute the sugar and, and you roast it. That's the type of sweetness that you get. The type of sugar sweetness that comes off of it. Uh, as well as the sugar sweetness you get when you're when you're mixing it in the coffee and it comes up and it you know it man it's it's, it's great it's it's 
is excellent. They did an excellent job. Uh, whatever they were putting in there, and and uh, they succeeded 100%. They did a great job. And this, I can tell you right now, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to put my uh, I'm going to put a stamp on that. This stays in my collection for as long as something can beat it. Uh, and I don't see anything beating it anytime soon. And even if something beats it, this this is staying with me. And I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to save it for really nice occasions, um, and I'm gonna get to that in a second as well. So guys, um, what ages? Uh, again, anywhere, uh, any age you can wear this. But I can see this more uh, in the upper twenties, uh, upper twenties, uh, and beyond. Uh, this is this can be worn uh, uh, in a casual settings. Uh, this can be worn in dressy settings. That's what I like about this gourmand. This is one of those gourmands that you can be well dressed. You know, you can dress, you can dress the hell out, man. Wear whatever you want. Dress classy as hell. Nice suit and tie, bow tie, whatever you want, and you can spray this. And this is sweet. It's a gourmand that that exudes. Uh, it, it, it you know it has that uh, luxurious. Uh, a roll into it. It's it's not your average Gourmand. I'm telling you right now, not not your average. It's not your playful Gourmand. Has a little bit of it, but it's very alluring. It 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 it's uh, it calls for attention when you smell it, and and it's and it's not so. Uh, it doesn't pop out of your body like I'm here. Like I say, I'm here. No, it's night set bubble, and it's a uh, 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 pleasant or a uh, pleasant aura that it leaves around you. It's uh. Superb. I love it. Uh, uh, Season-wise, I can see this in any season. In any season, as long as you don't take it in the very, very, very strong uh, hot weather. But summer nights, uh, cool nights, uh, nice. And if you have a nice wind, it's a windy day and you're around people, people are going to get that, 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 that wonderful sweet aroma and they're gonna be like damn man this guy smells dude man you smell man you smell damn man too bad you're a dude man but you smell goddamn good man you smell goddamn good man damn anyways yeah damn you know what honestly when i when i smell myself I'm like damn I just i just it's it has like it's it's it has like an edible smell to it and it's i'm telling you this this juice is nice when you, I don't know if you can see that, but when you spray yourself, look at the difference in this this palm and this one. See the sh see the shine. It, it really it, it really sits on your skin and it and it's nice. It, it's uh, it's wonderful. I love it. Uh, projection. The projection. Uh, I, I you know I've only tested it for about three to four days, so uh, I say about I say about two feet, two three feet. Uh, maybe the first hour or so it's gonna come out maybe beyond three feet beyond three feet three four feet yeah, but it does follow you as you walk around it's very nice uh people are gonna smell you people are gonna feel you're gonna you're gonna be that it, it's gonna be very inviting people are gonna want to approach you you know if, if you're the type of guy that you have a lot of ladies around you uh uh you know like i work around a lot of ladies and you know i, I like i said i went to a birthday party the other day and i i was uh, i was being hugged and i was being told wow you smell nice what is that you know, so it's a new fragrance. You know, I didn't, I didn't get into details. I don't get into details with people unless it's somebody really close to me or somebody uh, uh, that I know is into the same uh, ordeal as me. But uh, spray-wise, I went with this one when I, I, I was wearing a nice little dress shirt, black jeans. You know, a nice little, uh, you know, uh, warm jacket, and uh, it was about, uh, it was in the in the forties uh, that day, and I, it was Saturday. Uh, and I'm in um, I'm in the Massachusetts, which is uh, uh, kind of windy. So I, you know, I just sprayed one here, uh, two on each pause point, and like I always do, one in the hair most of the time. And um, uh, and I went one here, one spray here, and dabbed it. And um, that pretty much lasts me the whole night. I was there from probably 8 p.m. until uh, 12, 12. Uh, AM and um, I smelled it the next day on my skin and on my clothes it was still on my clothes uh, it was excellent 
Uh, so guys, my uh, uh, will I recommend it? Uh, yes, 100%. You got to get it. If you love if you love Gourmox, get it. No questions asked. You're gonna be 100% satisfied if you like Gourmox. Uh, uh, my ratings for this is gonna be a five. A five, okay? And five goes for uh, uh, the longevity is five. Uh, for projection, it's going to be about a four for now. I'm going to keep doing some testing. I might redo uh, this review. Uh, uh, occasions, I give it a solid 4.5 because you can wear it pretty much anywhere. And uh, excellent. Uh, you don't need that many sprays. The smell is a five. All right? Now, guys, take my word, uh, and uh, hopefully you guys, uh, if you do have the opportunity and you do have the budget, try to grab it now, because I don't know if it's going to go up, or I don't know if they've made that many bottles, but uh, for the price right now that it's going for, for 100 ml, it's about, I think, $60 on eBay, I think Fragrance X has it for about $55, worth it, 100% worth it, you won't regret it. Uh, and I'm pretty sure if if uh, uh, if you don't like it, ask a girl around you, and she'll give you the final your her final thoughts. Go anywhere, ask any girl. Guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this review, and guys, keep tuning in. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed. I know it's a little long, but I wanted to give you guys good information so you're happy, and I hope you sleep well. And guys, have a good day. All right, thank you guys for tuning in.